So for you guys that don't know, I kind of moved in with Josh and Derek. They let me bum it on the couch when I'm too tired to go home. So we're gonna head down to D&D Performance today and see what, uh, talk to them about some business and everything. So this, if you don't know, this is Josh. Yep. He's my boy. He's a part-time. Part-time what? Uh, what, part-time bum? Part-time bum? Is that what I am to you? <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm forget you. I'm but we're taking, uh, we're taking the four-door down there. Yep. Luckily, our, our boy Mike and Rico, he helped me register it so I can drive it legit now without being all extra sus on the street. So if you guys didn't know, this is, this is what I do have. And it's street legal right now. So if, if you want a video on how I get skylines, let me know, comment below, and I'll tell you. That's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. Yeah, Top secret, you can't know, but we'll catch you when we get to D and D. Six, eight, nine, let you not hang or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like, like, something different. Like, I know this is that the B roll footage you be telling me about. Oh, oh. sorry, yeah. young kids. Go ahead. Go Got on. the kids. I almost, <laughs> almost hit these kids. <laughs> over. Run over by a skyline while vlogging, bro. <laughs> That's the most sus thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> how'd you, Gary, how'd you run over two children today? I was trying to vlog and drive my skyline. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clear day. I cleaned the windows, as you can see. I gotta take a dump, bro. I'm talking about a meanwhile. What did we eat yesterday? Oh, uh, in and out. That's true, huh? <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Donuts and Derek. Donuts and Derek. Donuts and Derek. Boy, look at this Donuts one. Donuts and Derek. Just don't do a donut on the premises or you will get kicked out. What up? Oh, this shit. What's up, man? Oh, Sorry. Man. How's it going? This is Derek for everybody who doesn't know. Uh, can you explain who you are? Oh, yeah. Well, my name's Derek. Uh, my partner's in the back right now, but we are D&D Performance Interior. Uh, we do interior stuff for mainly drift cars, imports, we do steering wheels, quick releases, racing seats, seat brackets, uh, shift knobs. On the inside of a car, you name it, we uh, try to provide it for you guys. Okay, for I guess for you guys that don't know, this is my new steering wheel slash interior, whatever kind of, whatever he wants to sponsor me with, <laughs> that's, that's what he's here for and I appreciate you for that. So we got some of these new colored uh, suede wheels in. Before we brought them in in red and people freaked out over them. So we decided to bring them in and a couple other colors. This one's purple. We have a blue one in the back somewhere and we also still have the red one. Also, one of our uh, best sellers just got back in stock. This is our suede race wheel. Mm -hmm. And we also have this center stripe in red and purple. And we got some of our touring wheels back in. This is the style that's kind of like a T. Kind of like a personal style wheel. All of our wheels are 350 millimeter diameter and they're varying in concavity from like 30 millimeters to our suede race wheel is about 90 millimeters, so they get pretty deep. You know, that I guess, helps uh, depending on what kind of quick release hub setup you have, so have that proper drive. So is this like NRG, like what, uh, what quick releases can you use with these, with your wheels? Uh, you can use any quick release uh, because it's just the standard Momo Sparkle, uh, Sparko bolt pattern, it's the six bolt. So any quick release you'd be able to use with, uh, you know, an energy quick release, Momo quick release, Sparko quick release, they all work with our steering wheels. It's a pretty universal bolt pattern. And uh, what's the price point on the steering wheels? They start at about 120 on the website. That's not even bad. Yeah, and then we'll have sales, or if you come out to shows that we're at, like we go to NizFest, uh, we're going to be at Formula D Irwindale, we do crazy sales in person. Okay. Come out and support us in person. So if you see this man in person and happen to see my car at his booth, just... Just come say hi, hi. wherever yeah. you are. So sure. maybe I could try to take some of these out to grid life yeah, and man. everything and just support the cause and whatnot. So I appreciate you, man. We're going we're gonna to talk some personal business in the back, but <laughs> thank you, Derek. This was harder than choosing a Pokemon. They had so many beautiful wheels. They got this gray one I'm a big fan of. They got the leather daddy with the purple, but you know to me, daddy is Maximus with the fat of his, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, but they gave me a nice, look at the detail, bro. Look at the ink. Oh, let me get, let me zoom in on that. Boy, this is, camera goddamn zoom, bro. Look at that, mm, d and stitch with the purple. Can you tell it's purple? I hate when this camera does this. I'm getting, I'm getting new to this. If you guys have any camera recommendations, I'm using like a home camera, but dang, I can't wait to put this in the, in the green daddy. So I don't really have a color scheme, but it looks like purple, purple is gonna be it. Don't judge me, Lakers all day, baby. But yeah, 
they have this gray one too. They have an assortment of different wheels, different different wheels for the different feels to give you different chills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but they did, but I'm waiting for this one. This is the one we really want. The, oh, yeah, oh, you dropping, you making the rain, bro. bro they they got the the beautiful. They are a big supporter of. Damn camera zoom, bro. They got. They are a big supporter. Of, of breast cancer, so they have the breast cancer awareness steering wheel, which will be one of these breast cancer awareness steering wheels come out. So this one was last year's. We only did a limited run, and then we donated all the profits to charity. And then next year we're going to do a new design, and it's going to come around uh, around October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, the reason we do that is because we have a lot of people in our own family that's been affected by breast cancer, so it's kind of a thing that we do to you know kind of feel good about helping out. For all you don't know, Gary King Jr. is a big breast cancer awareness dude my aunt had breast cancer she beat it but you know just it's just a tough time going through it so it means a lot that a guy like you is or a company like you guys are doing a lot with just just little just the little things that you can do but it's a very detailed wheel that means a lot that it's a sick wheel too and he donated all the proceeds to charity so he's not like one of those scumbags that make you like do some stuff and like make you donate a bunch of money and then at the end of the day he like takes 55 percent of it gives the rest to charity and like just says no. I really appreciate that, man. So yeah, we have a, a contract with the California Breast Cancer Research Program. So if you want to donate or help out, check them out. They have a website. Do you have the? Uh, I'll put the website below so you guys can donate if you want to. If you don't want to, I understand. But at the same time, it'd be much appreciated if you do. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. This man out here was this a, is this the Arista or is this the GS three hundred? A GS this is my partner's car. It's a GS, but you know he has the Arista swap and it's manual transmission. So. I oh, guess it's like what a trans is he running? R54. R54. Funny, you, got, you guys aren't a fan year, of the CD09? Uh, funny, funny you're asking because last year at ASB, at the same event, both of us blew our R54s, and we were both thinking to switch over to the BMW transmissions with oh, the okay. adapter plate, the get drag. But I have an OS Gaikin twin plate in my Supra, and I'm like, ah, that's gonna go to waste if I switch transmissions. So oh, I ended up just getting the R54 rebuild. Where's your Verosa? It's over there. It's right here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check out this man's Verosa real quick. Yeah, bro, what you think when we, when you get a car from Uncle yeah. Gary and his crew? They're not gonna sell you some junk. This looks better than some of the used cars at a, at a Chevrolet dealership. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, it's manual. Yeah. It's auto. This is come stock with the one day. Yeah. VVTI? It's still it's still a chase. Uh, yeah. I want to say yeah, he'll pop the hood and everything. Okay. Like it, huh? I'm not gonna lie, when we first saw it, I was like, oh, it's like, it's cool, like it's it's different, you know, it's like a JDM thing. But now, like hearing it and seeing like how clean it is, like in the sunlight, it's a really nice car. Dang. He got the AC on in here too. The car is this legit? Is this real carbon? Yeah. Damn. It's an aluminum chassis with an aluminum uh, carbon fiber overlay. And then could, you, could you show me the motor real quick? Yeah. Bro, I love the way freaking Japanese cars smell. Yeah, that's what I, was, I bought it too, and I was like, damn, it smells like a Japanese taxi in here. <laughs> I'm not gonna get an air freshener because I like the smell. Boy. Uh, one day. DBTI. Um, what uh, the guy said was that this this placard here is like a company in Japan that retunes like the throttle body or the EC or something to give it a different uh, throttle response. I kind of feel it. I kind of don't. Maybe it's placebo, but other than that, it's got like a blitz inner cooler. A blitz radiator. Japanese it's got radiator. blitz front mount? Yeah. Damn. Mount. I like how it's tucked away. Yeah, you can barely see it. Bro, this man out this man got the, the Japanese condom out here on this bad boy. <laughs> it's got a boost controller? No, it's just running like natural boost. It's got a three-inch exhaust all the way back, so it's probably running like 10 pounds, 11 pounds. Okay. Shoot man, this is beautiful. I'll take you kids around the car to see.
mind show can we hear it real quick? That sounds amazing. I love it. Yeah, that's a good sound. That is mad. Damn, now I want a 1J. 